Welcome back to the channel. We're putting drag truck, change and challenge duster, 76 duster, all vans on hold. We got a commitment. We discussed it. We're going to put this on the road at least before we turn another wrench on any of those other cars. This has been sitting around here for over two years. We put bearings in it and got some oil pressure, but it's so not right. It's definitely wrong. We've demonstrated that in a video or two. It's time for this to at least be able to go get a hamburger in a, in a fellow neighboring town, huh? We're gonna get this car on the road and road worthy. We've already begun. We're gonna show you where. Who knows? Maybe we'll take it to the No Name Nationals. If we do, this I'll guarantee you, it'll go faster than the 1117 that the black 77 shorty van went. It might even go a 1097 in the eighth. Here's the current plan that we're working on. For you that's been with the channel a, a, a couple of years or three, this is the 440 that we bought and was going to originally build for drag truck. That still was the plan. Um, plan changed a little bit. This is going to be the answer to getting the Magnum on the road. We're going to do a low dollar 440 build here. Um, I'll tell you what I mean by low dollar. We're going to put it on the road. It's not really a build, but I'm going to tell you what we're going to do to it to get it on the road. We'll have under 900 into it, buying the motor, plus doing what we're gonna do to it. And that's what I wanna show you what we're gonna do. If a bunch of you wanna see the process, got a lot of interest in it, then we'll show it. Other than that, the next time you see this, it'll be all shiny. This is supposed to be low miles. I can't remember the mileage that he said. Something like 60,000 miles, I believe it. Most of those, uh, uh, RVs hardly ever got driven. They're all pretty much low miles. Usually, you know, you buy it, you take three vacations, and you realize it gets six miles per gallon. You don't take it no more. Um, he said it was a good running engine. I believed him. He collected pedal cars. This is a, well, it says on the side of the block about mid-year 77, so it might have been in a, a late 77 model. Could have been in a 78 model. 440 so it came out of a motor home and this is what we're going to do to to get it to run This is not going to be a big horsepower build in fact We're not looking for horsepower at all all we're looking for is to get the 440 in the Magnum and get the car moving down the road with a decent transmission behind it and torque converter And this is how our plan is going to go. Let me show you Here's a box. That's part of the plan. This come from rock auto and we're going to take the heads off, and I'm just going to lap the valves. But these are 68 GTX 440 Magnum valve spring replacements. Got the damper inside. They're 105 pressure spring with the valve closed on the seat. I got this entire set for shipped to my door, taxes titled, insured, and to my front door. You know the saying, you know. New tires and everything, 68 bucks. By the way, the price of the 440 was $400 plus 100 for the transmission behind it. So we're at 400 to the 440. That's less than $1 per cubic inch. How do you beat that? This is from all from 440 source. Some intake gaskets, valley pan gasket, an oil pan with the baffle in it, $59. And the pickup that goes with it. This right here is a flex plate. Let me talk about this for a second. Inside here on this pad, it says 440. You probably can't see it. That's okay. The pad's right there. 
that pad right there, this says 440E. That E stands for cast crank. This engine is externally balanced, so it would have the big ugly weight on the torque converter. Let me show you. That guy right there. See, this is the torque converter from the RV. It's got the hole to time it, because you can't hardly get inside there with the timing light, so you time it from back here. There's the electrical hookup. But that that right there is uh, the weight to balance it. By the way, that's got a sticker on it that says low stall because it's made for towing in the RV. Heavy. I like to run neutral balance converters. So this takes the place of the weight. I use this flex plate and I can run my neutral balance converter. Now, BMW has one. I think it's 2237 is the number. Don't buy it off of my word. You check it out. I'm just going off of memory. 140 some, $145. 440 source says same quality, 59 bucks. It's not SFI approved, but I can't beat that. So 59 bucks is what I gave for this. And then the last thing we bought for it from Summit. This is their special duty $74 timing set and look at all the notches we're gonna put this in at two degrees advanced the reason the two degrees and not four or six or eight we're sticking with the factory cam on this because I'm not trying to win the Kentucky Derby with it so what I'm gonna do is just advance it two degrees because I think there's a little bit of offset grind from the factory in these that are a little bit devanced. So I'll bring it up two degrees and by the time that chain gets to whipping around, you know, a time or two, it'll probably give that degree or two back to it. So we're going to install it at two degrees. And the last thing we bought from Summit was an entire gasket kit. Has even the valve seals or umbrella seals, whatever you call them in here 61 bucks head gaskets and so all. i think all what i bought the oil pan flex plate all that that came from 440 source and what i got here from summit and the valve springs from rock auto i don't know we're probably i had it figured up but it's gonna put this around 750 to 800 i think is what we're putting into it with all new gaskets timing chain and and uh all of that valves better valve springs then um with the heads off i am going to touch up a little bit myself of the casting not really port just clean up maybe around the valve guide a little bit on the intake side and stuff and then we'll put the valve springs on i'm going to have them cut thirty thousandths and the reason why i'm cutting thirty thousandths is i want to make up for the thicker gaskets you know and if i come out five thousandths on top glory be this is an actual car not an RV short tail, short tail shaft, but an actual car, 727. That's separate cost from the 440, but I gave $100 for that. Guy said it came out of a 73 car with a 400 in it. He said it ran and worked excellent when he pulled it. I had no reason not to believe him. Really didn't have a reason to believe him either. But we're going to try that. I have a neutral balanced a converter that I had in drag truck there for a minute. It's the one I gave $50 for. We're going to put that. It's like a factory stock car torque converter. We're going to put that behind this. Between the three of them, we should be able to get a 440 on the road and keep keep the cost within the budget and get that get that Magnum out. Who knows? It might even get revenge on that van of war. Wouldn't put your money there.